Welcome to this video. Are you interested in why your vehicle diagnosis displays C089603? How is the error code interpreted by the vehicle? What does C089603 mean, or how to correct this fault? Today we will find answers to these questions together. Let's do this. First, let's look at the history of diagnostic fault code composition according to the OBD2 protocol, which is unified for all automakers since 2000. We divide the electric system of automobile into the four basic units. Powertrain. Body. Chasis. Network. This distribution is defined in the first character code. If the second character is expressed as zero, it is a standardized error. In the case of numbers 1, 2, 3 it is a more prestigious expression of the car-specific error. The third character specifies a subset of errors. The distribution shown is valid only for the standardized DTC code. Only the last two characters define the specific fault of the group. The add-on to the error code serves to specify the status in more detail. For example, a short to the ground. Let's not forget that such a division is valid only if the other character code is expressed by the number zero. Our website airbagreset.sk produces useful videos for you. You do not have to go through the OBD2 protocol anymore to know how to troubleshoot any car breakdown. You will find all the diagnostic codes that can be diagnosed in a Chevrolet vehicles. Also many other useful things. The following demonstration will help you look into the world of software for car control units. You unbelievably can move the video a bit further. The error code is split into two bytes consisting of 16 bits. One bit is the basic unit that each computer works with. The bit has two logical states. 0, low level. 1, high level. By combining the first two bits, the basic character of the error code is expressed. The next two beats again determine the second character. The last beat styles of the first byte define the third character of the code. The second byte is composed of a combination of eight bits. The first four bits determine the fourth character of the code. And the combination of the last four bits defines the fifth character. A single byte conceals 256 possible combinations. We now know in what way the diagnostic tool translates the received information into a more comprehensible format. The number itself does not make sense to us if we cannot assign information about it to what it actually expresses. So, what does the diagnostic trouble code C089603 interpret specifically Chevrolet car manufacturers? The basic definition is Shift solenoid C, performance shift solenoid valve S3. And now this is a short description of this DTC code. A shift solenoid valve S3 stuck on malfunction 1 when the ECM directs the transmission to switch to 5th or 6th gear, the engine overruns clutch slips the ECM determines there is a malfunction when either of the following conditions is met or when the ECM directs the transmission to switch to 4th gear, the actual gear is shifted to 3rd B when the ECM directs the transmission to switch to 5th gear, the engine overruns clutch slips a shift solenoid valve S3 stuck off malfunction 2 shifting to first, second, and third gears is impossible the ECM determines there is a malfunction when the following conditions are both met or when the ECM directs the transmission to switch to second gear, the actual gear is shifted to fourth B when the ECM directs the transmission to switch to sixth gear, the actual gear is shifted to sixth. This diagnostic error occurs most often in these cases. Shift solenoid valve S3 remains open Shift solenoid valve SLT remains open or closed Valve body is blocked Automatic transmission clutch, brake or gear, etc. Shift solenoid valve S3 remains closed Valve body is blocked Automatic transmission clutch, brake or gear, ETC FM frequency modulated or PWM pulse width modulated failure This subtype is used for FMOR PWM failures that cannot be assigned to a specific sub type. The Airbag Reset website aims to provide information in 52 languages. 
Thank you for your attention and stay tuned for the next video.